And we're live right Hello, here. Hello, we welcome go. to the Patreon. We're here joined with Dr. Adolph Sponge. How are you, good doctor? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Up from a nap, dude. Up from yeah. the nether yeah. realm. Any dreams? No, I was just drifting off when I got called up. Pure bliss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you were just just. Oh man, I was that's, just drifting off. You know what I noticed? Good feeling. I see. I mean, it's very dumb and obvious, but I always I listen to an audiobook. Mm-hmm. And I can tell when I'm falling asleep because I'll just miss like a minute. Yes, yep. it'll be nothing, and then I'll come back to hearing it and be like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, nice. Yep, my brain. I'm going to sleep. That's what that was happening to me because I was yeah. just listening to fucking whatever, and then yeah, I lay. So my my so what I do right now is I lay in bed, I prop myself up with my pillows, and I I go I lay like this, and I go full kind of Indian style, but laying down. And I do that. And I fall asleep like this now. So I woke up the other night and was fully like, I thought I pulled both my, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I was like, yeah. uh. I took a pee and laid back down and I, my legs were all better as soon as I woke up. Really? Like, I, I was hope, limp. I was fucked up. I hope my legs are all better. <clears throat> Your legs are going to heal, dude. Your legs are not heal. all better. Dude, dude. I've been I'm Jimmy asleep. Ballmer. I've, I wished it. I had fucking dreamed it. Now it's fully yeah. happened, dude. I'm like, oh, wow, what a great audience. <laughs> and then you straight your hip flexors. Yo, you, you saw me. Guard Dog, I hit a wow, what a great audience for you. Where? At the cellar. How did they Guard Dog was they in the doorway. It? The crowd did not. What? They actually kind of laughed that time. Normally it gets zero. That time. They laughed? Yeah, I just looked at the Guard Dog. I said, wow, what a great audience. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been goofing on stage at the cellar now, which is fun. I'm oh, finally awesome. comfortable enough to goof there. That's awesome. I was talking about coughing during sex. Nice. I was like, yeah, you know, you get something in your throat. Sometimes you get something in your throat when you're having sex. Sometimes you get cum in your throat. <laughs> the whole place is like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys ever have that where you got to go, <clears throat> you have cum in your throat? <laughs> they, were, they were upset. That's they were so upset. Funny. That does yeah. feel like a dramatic departure for you. Yeah. That's so, so <laughs> funny, though. I know, I know. <laughs> there was a guy about. there was a guy uh big guy and his he was so big that he was like half on the stage oh. and i was like what's up with you dude what the fuck's going on with you he's like i'm so high <laughs> i was like oh dude this would be killing me yeah if i was high and like couldn't fit and was basically on stage oh my yeah God. i would be like i'm gonna kill myself this is the this is a nightmare yeah, and you're too high to, to be like, I, I'm sorry, but I can't sit here. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. You're just like, they to told me it. to sit here. I have to sit here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny you're that high and you get really honest about it. Yeah. I did yeah. that. I, one time I went, I like, where I, I think I was going to the, long time ago, I was going to the Raven. I got too high before stand up. And I was like, I went, and the, the place right near there was like a wine bar. So I went, and I was like, oh, I was like yeah. I'm going to drink wine. If I like bug out from weed, my first mission is like, I'll get kind of drunk and it'll take me down. So I started just like chugging wine in a nice wine bar. And I was like, how are you doing? I was like, I'll be honest, I'm very high right now. So I just wanted to have a couple of drinks so I could go ahead and do my thing. I was like, I'm doing stand-up comedy. Yeah. And the lady was just like, okay. I'm actually a comedian. I'm a comedian. No, I was like very serious. Like, I have to do stand-up comedy, but I'm too high. So I'm going to have a couple of drinks and head over there. They Which, got, did, were they understanding? Did they help you? Did they come up with a game plan? They were like, okay. And they, I heard them. I saw someone else come out and pop their head out. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, they fucking, yeah, that fucking sucks. Snitched on yeah, me. I would snatch a bit. There's some fucking me, maniac at the bar, dude. And it's, it was like a dude. nice place. Yeah, I, I do love good wines, dude. Wines so good. I had a Barolo. I had the king of Italian wines last night. Really, a Barolo? Yeah, a Barolo. A Barolo, Barolo? is king of Italian wines. Let me, tell, <laughs> yeah. let me tell you about this. Well, I thought it was like a Chianti. Or the like waiter, a, the waiter Multiple told us Chiano or something. The waiter like told us about it. Uh, Brittany likes to flex. She goes out. She's like, what, 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 like, what's a really nice wine? And the guy was like, oh, this Barolo, he's like, it's $33 a glass. And she was like, can I have a taste? <laughs> so we both tasted it. She's like, that's good. We'll get it next time. <laughs> yeah. Swag. I was like, nice move. That's very funny. It was a nice move. Dude, we brought, a, we brought our daughter, two-year-old, out to like a nice restaurant for Valentine's Day. Mistake. I'll never do it again. People were pissed, dude. People were not happy. Really? Yeah. yeah. She, dude, she had a heart-shaped crazy straw. And like, we would be like, all right, that's enough. And we'd take it away from her. And she would go, <laughs> and the whole oh place would like look god. around. Like, oh my sorry, god! Sorry, 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 sorry. And then she would turn around. There's a couple behind us. She would turn around and just go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> the dude was like, dude, I, I never seen anything like it. The guy didn't address it at all. He was just like, he was in the middle of being like, he was talking about Michelangelo. 
so oh, fun, dude. God. That Valentine's was Michael, dude. That the, was Michael the, on a date. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he didn't address it. He was like, oh, "I like Michelangelo." <laughs> Everybody's Michael on Valentine's. One of my <laughs> favorite painters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a northern Italian restaurant. You think they know about Michelangelo? Yeah, dude. It was every dude. It's so funny seeing couples out on Valentine's Day. It's full like. Get, like, get your seat. It's full like Queen of England shit. It's yeah. so fucking funny. Yeah, I got in trouble because I didn't get my lady anything. For Valentine's Day? Yeah, I didn't. Nothing. Yeah, I did not. I mean, I bought everything in our fucking apartment. I gave her my card so she can literally buy whatever she wants. Yeah, just a card. That's a nice gift. Just a card. It is. I, I've it learned is. that. Just a card. That's a good gift. In fact, I told her. I said, that's your gift. It's Valentine's Day. I'm not. And she likes flowers and she's like into flowers. Yeah. And I, I couldn't. I can't get her flowers without her being like, these are okay. Which uh, she's like ones? a no. she's a bit of a she's not she's not mean about it. Sure, In fact, yeah, I got yeah. her roses over Christmas and she was very happy. What's her favorite flower? I for, I forget. True. I took me a couple times. Maybe around. an orchid, the yeah. fucking long one. We got Dude, one of those. You know, we're just sneaky yeah. good flower place, Whole Foods. Oh yeah, you yeah. get them. You get them quick. Bro, they're always yes. there. That's what that's bad. what she says. Well, Whole Foods. Bro. She does. Yeah, you get. She's like, fresh. there's not a whole there's not a Whole Foods around here. They have great flowers, bro. And she like, wants to be a florist. Really? Yeah, well, go do it. That would be sick. Go actually. do it, babe. The Patreon's doing well. Yeah, go, 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 <laughs> you can be a florist for three years, maybe, and then you, we gotta we gotta buckle <laughs> down. I don't know if the Patreon's gonna be around. We'll see what happens. That'd yeah. be sick if she got really good at it. She is very She's good. Probably at nasty it. as fuck. Yeah. Would you like a lot she of is. plants in the apartment? How do you feel about plants? Yeah, I don't mind them. Yeah, not this. <laughs> This fucking this Shrek green. plant. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sneaky, real quick place if you need flowers. Well, look at how this foods. thing's going because both the windows. Wow. That's the only time it gets sun. So all the True. leaves are reaching uh, for those fucking windows. Yeah, yeah. That's life, dude. Yeah. That's what you got to ask yourself. Do you want to know how things are made or how things grow? We have a plant. <laughs> that's what you got to think about. That's what you got to think and about. And a lot of guys don't. A lot don't of people think about sit around and go. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say I'm. I am more of a. I'd like to see how it's made. Guy. Yeah, yeah, true. You I like watched. to see the shipping. You like to see big boats. <laughs> I did. I did. In <laughs> fact, I the other day I, I saw a video where they just they just pounded a huge block of hot metal into a like a drive column for a tanker. It was sick. That's dude. pretty cool. Yeah. We gotta get big you to Portland. Machines, you, making big boat gear. I, I need you in Portland. <laughs> a lot of boats out there. <laughs> it was pretty Bro. good. Dude. Tacoma. It was pretty good. If you but, you you gotta see this, it's Seattle. Excuse me. Yeah. You need to you need to go into the Puget Sound and take a look at those boats, dude. I yeah, that would be nice. See Mount Rainier in the distance. Big tankers Ooh. coming through the fog and the sound. How's the flight in? Is it nice? You, the, you it's literally seat? the best flight I've ever been on. Oh. Dude, That's the pilot awesome. was like, "Hey, they they rarely do this." He's like, "Just so everybody's aware, uh, Mount Rainier's over on our left side right now." I opened it; the sun was setting. Mount Rainier's oh. just over the clouds. Oh. It's the first thing I've seen where I've been like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, dude. Like that was like amazing. Mountains above the clouds are like really. I didn't know they could do that. First yeah, it was of all, fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used I, to just those Appalachians, dude. True. Give me some good hills. Well, the Appalachians, you know, nothing to sneeze at either. Not they're yeah. not that tall, but there's a lot of lot of Appalachians, good stuff yeah. I believe, are the Maine to Georgia, baby. Yeah, a lot of Blue good stuff. Ridge is the oldest mountain range, or one of the oldest mountain ranges in the world. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think it's number three. That makes me number happy. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Appalachians were key. Yeah, they used to be huge. Us I think they succeeding from the British, dude. Oh yeah. You know about that. Really? On, now I've read one history book. Now I'm a historian too. Yeah, he's just telling me things I told him for the last <laughs> five did years. You, did you know about the Appalachians though? When the what British came know? over. When we were fighting, pushing the French back, and the yeah. Brits came, and the Brits got their asses kicked, dude. Yeah, they yeah. can't handle that. Who was the name? What was the name of the general guy who came over from Britain? And got just his ass handed to him and had to go back. I forget his name. Uh, well, George Washington was one of the first ones. He was to with just, them. He kept getting rocked. The Brit, yeah, but they came and they fought in the Appalachians. They're like, damn, you got like all the dudes who were like trappers out there were like, nah, dude, you yeah. gotta hide in these mountains. That's war on the run, bro. Yeah. yeah, was it really? And the British came out and did that dumb fucking like shoulder to shoulder shit. Yeah, got their asses kicked, dude. Can't. That's do that when America went. Hmm. The Americans went. Well, yeah, we could beat these guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were the ones losing with yeah. the Americans. They were losing with the Americans and App- yeah, they got their asses. Well, they were the British. They were the British fighting. Yeah, yeah, like George yeah. Washington against the French. Yeah. Yeah, but he was a noble man. Against the French and the Indians. Yeah, man. Did we have a lot of shoulder-to-shoulder fighting in the Revolutionary War, or did we go straight guerrilla? Yes, there was. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Didn't the French come back? Yeah, but then the French helped us. The French did help us. Yeah. What a bunch of tricky guys, Lafayette, man. dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's the audio book I'm working on right now. I thought you'd be pumped about Appalachian's role they played in the, Ameri- bro, in the Revolutionary War. of course. War. What do you know about Fort Duquesne, bro? What do you know about Pittsburgh? Duquesne? Yeah. Man, that's 
that's a fort right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of my favorite forts for sure. Was that where they were? I guess, I guess that's where they were holed up near Appalachia. Yeah, there was. Well, the French had Canada, basically. Yep. So they, well, Michigan, Still do. Canada. Yes, Canada. They had uh, like Quebec. Yep. So they had all the waterways. They controlled all those waterways. Yep. And then the British started fighting their way up. Ticonderoga all the way up, dude. Mm -hmm. Doing work. What's mm -hmm. the one? Uh, mm -hmm. What's the one at the bottom of Lake Champlain? That might have been Fort Ticonderoga. Is that Ticonderoga? I could be wrong. Yeah, doesn't the Mississippi go up from like almost to Canada? Yeah, it goes like, to Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. That's a strong That's what splits the Twin Cities. Yeah. The Mississippi River. It, it, always, it always bothers me. Why? I don't know why. When I'm in Minnesota and they're like, this is the Mississippi River. I'm always like, it's not, dude. Yeah, it's... It's, <laughs> it's not, dude. You it's guys just are a fucking, little... You guys are puffs. You shouldn't steal Mississippi Valley, dude. They do steal Mississippi, Mississippi River Valley. Valley. That's a mighty river. Yeah, because that's, like <laughs> that's like the main stream, but it takes the other rivers to get involved yeah. before it's really the Mississippi. The mighty. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. the mighty. You can't call it... You cannot call it I like it heading down Memphis way. That's when you start to see it. Yeah. The mighty Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah, that would actually piss me off. You should actually... Do I'll give them the about business it. next yeah, time. Like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say that if Mark a, Twain was here? Probably not. They wouldn't say. They wouldn't start talking about Mississippi bullshit. <laughs> what do what we you got? Ticonderoga is on Lake Champlain. Nice. And uh, the people who fought for it were the Green Mountain Boys of the Connecticut colony. There you go. Yeah, the Green Mountain Boys. Nice. What yeah, do you think the they Connecticut did? Boys? They were soft though. What are you talking about? They were no. They were no. They were not welcome in Roger's group, dude. Except what's oh, his really? name? Oh, really? I thought there was, was one guy. Yeah, there was. But he was a beast. He signed the declaration. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And now Ethan Allen. Now he sells he a brother. Hale. Now he sells high end furniture. <laughs> I, was, I might have been thinking. <laughs> wealthy Connecticut I might have been thinking Hale. There's a guy. <laughs> what's, what's up with Thomas Hale? What do I. Yeah, bring up Hale. Tell you what, I would have loved to see the look on the British's faces when they got up in the Appalachians and all of a sudden we we're going, what the fuck? And I they know, were pissed about on. it. They're like these fucking scoundrel savages. Yeah. It was like fucked up. You were supposed yeah. to not just like win, you're supposed to fight with grace. It was very important. I know. To have grace. And then and then we were like in the Matrix, we were like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny for them to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I'm fighting with grace. This is dishonor. This is crazy. It stopped all it's their bullshit. Bullets. That's because, yeah. yeah, Europe fought like that for a very long time. Every war was like kind of small. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. It was world wars, but it was never total war. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't everybody fighting where shit got dirty and like you could attack cities and shit. Yeah. It was always like... The king would pay a couple hundred gentlemen. Yeah, but what was you know the what strategy I mean? though? What, what, like, how did they outmaneuver? And they, each and other they would that? besiege these forts, and then be like, "All right, we'll surrender with our colors." And they would meet each other and hand each other a sword and a flag, and be like, "You won." So it was like they, paintball. They'd give them, yeah, it was. <laughs> but then the Indians got involved, and they were like, "We're not letting these guys leave." Oh yeah. And the French would be like, "Please let them leave." <laughs> and the Indians would be like, "No, we're going to skin everybody." Damn. They, would, they would get a little rowdy. That's oh, what, okay. That's what got them uh, a little dose of the. Oh, when they got smallpox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they brought back all these sick people's like heads. Yeah, well, they all got smallpox. So they, they were over up, there. Yeah, they dug, yeah, they up, they the dug up the graves. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so they were full skirmish, <clears throat> and then they came to America, fought Indians, and Europe was like, "We got to step up our warfare stuff," and they just destroyed each other. Yeah, everybody likes to say the Europeans introduced savagery to war. Yeah. The Native Americans were pretty brutal. Oh, yeah. The Comanche yeah. and the Apache. Dude. Yeah, dude. They, uh... <laughs> yeah, we introduced it. The, uh... Yeah, that story is great. In War on the Run, there's a story about the Indians wanted to kill all the British that were in the fort, and the French were like, no. Don't do but it. But then the French came to the British to issue terms of surrender, and were like, they're gonna fucking kill you guys, like, bad. Yeah, like, we're not fucking around. We gotta do this. We gotta do the surrender. So the British took the surrender, and while they were leaving, the Indians still got them. And then they were like, no, we need their fucking scalps. So they dug up. They found the hospital. They accidentally <laughs> ran into the hospital graves <laughs> yeah, and yeah. dug up a bunch of people with like smallpox, oh. brought those fucking scalps back home. Yeah, yeah. Like spread like wildfire. And the boys went down. It wasn't just nice blankets that the white man gave them. Yeah, was... Every once in a while, they got a little greedy with the scalps. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you know, Take some nasty scalps. Every stink. once in a while, they got a little greedy. Damn, dude, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. There and that that guy. You know, I'll, I'll stop harping on him. No, he, I like it. He has a long thing excerpt about that. Like, we got to stop doing this. Like, this whole myth of Native Americans as like these peace keys. He's like, dude, Bro. they were they were it was they were totally different groups, all doing different shit. But they they were doing some. They were fighting and taking territory from each other. 
doing some really wild shit. Yeah, no group of humans is peaceful. Yeah, that, that, well, that's what he was basically oh, like, dude. Yeah. It was on. It was on before we got there. There were all there. Be, there was bitter fucking rivalries that were yeah. just brutal. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't there be? That's yeah. why when the French and Indian War started, same thing. How the Spanish took the Aztecs and the Incas with like. They took the Incan Empire with like 80 guys. That's crazy. But that's just because they linked with all the other tribes that hated the Incas. Yep. And they said, all right, boys, go get them. Their divide and conquer was crazy, dude. Yeah. Going down there and just crushing. Think about being the Aztecs, some out, outside tribes. Like, yeah, every fucking 10 months they come cut all our hearts out. True. These guys are the worst leaders ever. True. I Keep- heard a story about Cortez. He went into, what was the? Quetzalcoatl? Or- yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Uh, cause they thought Cortez was like, like the man or almost godlike or something. And yeah. he went into court. To, he like he was, they wanted to take over the whole city. Yeah. And, uh, they were like, this is, this is a big city. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. So they just walked into Quetzalcoatl's like palace room or whatever. And he was like, why don't you come with me back? Yeah. To- yeah they kidnapped him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Montezuma. Oh yeah, it was Montezuma. Montezuma. Crazy Quetzal was the god they yeah, thought. Yeah, like allegedly, thing. there were people okay. push back on that. They say that Mo- that was like a back then. That was what a was thing. the name of Mexico City? Wasn't that che- something like that? Like Techi- Quetzalcoatl? Che- che- oh, Techi Yeah, Teclan. Yeah, Tika Teclan. Some bullshit. But yeah, they said Montezuma would do that. Where like back then in that culture, they would be like. Oh no, you're just easily you're the best. You're a god. It was like a sign of humility, and whoever would do the most of it was obviously like the biggest animal beast type of good. That's what someone said. Okay. Like say, or maybe he genuinely was like, You are the god. You did it. Well, so all I know the, is they walked him back to some yeah. like hut they had him and they just like imprisoned him. And then yeah. they were like, We got your guy, and everyone was like, All right. <laughs> Checkmate. Well, I guess we'll Shit. surrender. Shit. <laughs> yeah, he's our number one. What's god. the worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah, we'll surrender. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck they it. Were- Chopping our ears off. Dude, the gold. monks went down there, started giving those dudes serious what for. Yeah, they got yeah, like the Spanish monks that went down there and were just like chill in those villages. They would like burn those dudes. They were fucking with them. What? They got caught practicing their religion. The monks would, yeah, fry them. Yeah, those missionaries were wild. They got in trouble. had to be real heart of darkness stuff down there. With oh, the missionaries. Yeah, it was also, bad. Also, dude, yeah. you go down there, you see, like, dude, some of the things were like, I don't know, I don't know if it was the Mayans or one of those groups would do that thing we talked about before, where they would. Like have a woman walk through the town square, then like cut her skin off and wear it, and like <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, they yeah. had like they had like five day seed festivals where they were like would f- a whole town would fast for like five to seven days. Then Go they'd crazy. parade like the youngest, most beautiful woman in their village, let her walk around and just fucking slit her throat in front of everybody. Oh my! And then God. they would, it was from the Joseph Campbell book, and they would rip the guy, the head priest, would rip her skin off and wear it and walk through town, just be like. Ah. Be like I'm a pretty lady now. <laughs> yeah. That was supposed to, like that would mean like the harvest would be bountiful again. There was like the fertility gods. So to be, be fair, these shoes would go down would, there and yeah. be like, "This is fucking hell." Yeah, yeah. these guys need these guys can't do this religion. It's fucked. Do you think there are any True. atheists in that? Do you think how many? How, do you think there? Were, what was the first guy who was just like, I don't know, like maybe he couldn't have been out loud about it, but was like. <laughs> This is all bullshit. I'm sure there was dude. a lot. This is such True. bullshit, dude. True. I'm sure there was just a lot. Just cut her skin off. Yeah. yeah. It was Rebecca. But yeah, true. It was nice. Rebecca's a would... But then you see <laughs> then you see those ships on the horizon and you're like, oh shit, God's real. This is outer space stuff. Yeah. yeah. See those Spanish fucking ships show up. I'd like to think there was one guy that was like, I fucking knew it, dude. This <laughs> this, this whole bullshit. thing we've been doing is yeah. bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I had a boat. I had a boat idea yeah. <laughs> months yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just seeing someone just murder the hottest chick in the village, be like, we got it. There, there's got to be something else we can do. The chick was so hot. I know. Yeah, we please not murder the hottest <laughs> chick every year. This is yeah. kind of dumb. <laughs> stinks. That was probably yeah. that was probably a town hall meeting. <laughs> it's like I got. Why don't we switch to ugliest? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we'll think of it. It's up for vote. <laughs> Ah, I'm getting beheaded on it. Yeah, the head priest <laughs> yeah. is like, you want me to wear an ugly woman's skin? Yeah. Well, they probably tried it one year and it didn't like affect the crowd. It yeah, probably as didn't much. hit it, as like, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't get as much of a pop. True. Like, yeah, man, dude. The, the, the tr- fucking <laughs> that one custom was the best when they would like take the young dudes and like they would take one hot. It was a different one. They take one hot chick and they would they would be, like nine bros and they'd run a train basically on her and they'd be underneath a bunch of like log like big timber. And whoever the last guy was, they'd cut the thing out, and the timber would squash both of them. While the dude was just CPing, 
He'd be oh, hitting her with a Bill no. Gates cream pie. So all the do all the new initiates who would become men would just have sex with this chick, and whoever like drew the last straw would be in the middle of it, and they would just go <laughs> knock them out, and the Lincoln Logs would come right down and just crush them. So, Dude, this, is, <laughs> this crazy. does seem like just some weirdo sex dream thing. Oh yeah, it's just like what? The, how? It, yeah, walk me through this again. How's this? What is? What does yeah, God what wants this? This was like the fertility land gods. This is when they, the god the gods back then were strictly attributed to nature. So Who it was, was like violent this? as fuck. Do you remember? I forget. This would have been the, I think people in like around like a, like the Australian coast, like oh, okay. Pacific or people in the Pacific. So there was like all these crazy, like tri- uh, things they did back then. That was just nuts. Yeah. That yeah. was a big deal of like putting blood into the soil and it all had to do with having sex too. There had to be some dads around the dinner table being like, let me tell you something. That whole thing's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We've done that every Dude, year. The train. No crops. The yeah. train. Well, it was pretty lush. It was, they were like in like a tropical. <laughs> yeah. So like the, the shit was growing pretty well. Oh, so was, they couldn't lose. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, keep, we got to keep, we can't stop. We need the train. <laughs> yeah. to get we need the train. And we need, and I think it would be like a big like orgy type thing too. So <laughs> everyone would like, be fucking. This is some some dude in fun. northern Canada. It's like we it only, it's only going to snow, dude. If we, if we yeah. smash <laughs> someone while they're fucking. Like, yeah, imagine right, if dude, you're I fucking. The whole town's fucking, dude. We're all hanging out. We're all it's having so fun. hard to achieve an erection under that pressure. Yes. Like I, if I come last, I'm getting crushed by logs. I think it was yeah. predetermined. Like you, 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 oh, you. Okay. So I think you drew the last straw. You're probably like, I have one more. Let me get this last one out. It's probably a nice knot. Yeah. Yeah. Be, uh, yeah. What happens if you can't get hard? Do they sub them out? They'd probably cut your head off if you couldn't get hard. Like, what the <laughs> fuck's wrong with this guy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, these, these were like 13 year old boys. Oh, uh, okay. So they're probably hard as hell. Yeah. You were. You had. A, yeah. You probably did abstain. Right. And then you were just. You were there. I mean, you got to taste the sniz. At least they did that. Like, I wouldn't be able to achieve. No, ah, dude, you be but a the real thing is, sleepy they, hollow. They <laughs> believe they one thousand percent believed like they were about to get crushed and like be into the nether realm. I mean, into the dream time, into the hanga, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're probably not gonna die either. It's gonna nah, be a slow died. one, dude. It died. Yeah, oh, but right crushed away? by logs. That's that could be a that could <laughs> true, be a real long true, death. True, yeah, true. it doesn't hit just right. It's got to hit perfect. Yeah, true. Otherwise, Although, just mid sections just smash. You know, imagine that. Auto erotic, dude. It just yeah. gives you all that weight. You get further than you've ever gotten. Yeah. Dude. You have all that lumber on your back. You're fucking like, yeah. Oh, I touched the back. Dude, imagine if you're <laughs> like, yeah. Also, if you're watching that shit once a year and you've seen it since like every year since you were a kid, it's yeah. like, imagine what kind of fucking they're doing just on their own. It's probably some surprise that was down there. Like, yeah. They were, I think they were a little short on people. Those tribes tend really? to be like, let's chill on this. The Maybe. Aztecs had an abundance of people. Truly, really a lot of. They bros. could fucking get it done. Yeah, they could be bros. like, "All right, today we're cutting your hearts out." Yeah, I think it could. They, he bounced back between so many groups; it's possible. But I, I thought it was. No, nah, like, they might. I don't know. Maybe they did have a bunch. Yeah, I think it was one of those ones around that yeah. whole area. Oceana. Yeah, but who knows, man? Yeah, there was dude that, that uh, Mask of the Gods, Joseph Campbell. It was like the first of four part series it's primitive the myths of primitive people yeah they're so, it's fucking nuts <laughs> they're all there they are a lot of them are like very 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 similar to one another yeah and then it goes through like how agriculturalists people who like actually have plants have like a whole set of mythology people who are just hunters had a whole like their own set of mythology right it's pretty sick yeah hunting hunting uh, stuff is brutal they were getting yeah. killed constantly oh by animals yeah, animals just falling off of shit. Accidents, like, just yeah. think about the workplace accidents, dude. <laughs> you killed an animal, you had to poke its eyes out and like flip it over as fast as you could. Otherwise, you get the evil eye. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so if you killed an animal, you had to quickly jab its eyes out. And then like you had to turn it around and, like do a quick thing. If you didn't do it, you'd get the hex on you. Why? Why not just throw a blanket over it? They should have like a... You think these guys they have blankets? They didn't have fucking blankets, dude. <laughs> Why not? I mean, they had a couple, but they didn't have. They can have a blanket to waste on it, just like one animal. They had to, you had to just jab its eyes with like sticks. They didn't have leather blankets when they killed. Where, where, where are we talking here? Yeah, this was like this was like the African plains. No blankets. Why not? It was hot as hell. It was hotter than hell. The sickest blankets around. No Zebra blankets. blanket, cheetah no, it was blanket. Hot as hell. It was hot as hell. And at nighttime, maybe elephant it was a little chilly. Blanket. But now they were just. You were just like some chick, you know, would just be like, All right, "Quick, get in there, you cut it, cut their eyes out." Oh <laughs> Jesus! You just jab their eyes and then turn it over. I mean, I've, I wonder how many people died trying to pull that silly. No, that one was pretty quick. Then, just to, yeah, two in the eyes. Yeah, yeah. Those boys got 
hit by Tatankas a lot. They get hit those, those buffaloes, get a stampede going. Oh, yeah, the boys would get leveled. Yeah, that was a sick. That was a sick too. The Native Americans did that, where you had a, you had the one <laughs> head shaman who would put a buffalo head on and be like, ah, and act all crazy all and make them run off of a hill, and then yeah. you'd just be sitting there, just like beautiful. God, think about how much good footage <sighs> went uncaptured. Oh my God, <laughs> those guys. Well, just, they could come at you too. So like, you had if you were good at it, they you would get them to like go exactly where you want it. They were just the dumbass fucking buffaloes would just go right off a hill and smash themselves in the rocks. Yeah. You had a dude down there that would just finish him off if they weren't dead. It was like, <laughs> let's eat, let's go. <laughs> I like it. That's why they always had those lances. Like the Comanche, they had lances. Okay. Like almost like duels. Like really? Like knight, knights would have like those long ass lances. What? Yeah, the Comanche. Every time you see those like sculptures or paintings of them, they have a long fucking lance. I didn't know they were rocking those. Really? Yeah. They're great oh. horsemen. They stab you with a fucking lance. Oh, oh. fuck. Blows. Horse technology must have been sick when they got their hands on horse technology. Yeah, that was your boys, yeah. the missionaries, yeah. the Spaniards. Gave them the horse tech. They, they were the first ones. The Comanche were the first tribe to like steal them and use them. Mm-hmm. All the other boys were munching them. True. They would I mean, get their hands on the horse and be like, finally. <laughs> something Yum other than me. buffalo today. Yum me. And then, yeah, the little tiny Comanche figured it out. They were chapitos. They, they were little guys. Really? Yeah. Damn, they, they were, were little foos, yeah, dude. They were they were the foos. They were in the <laughs> they were in the mountains. They were in the Rocky Mountains first. <laughs> yeah, they got pushed to like they were the, the foos, shittiest and area. all the tribes were like, "These guys suck." These guys, they stink. were tiny foos. Yeah, they were living like a <laughs> desert. Dude. Yeah, but then they got their hands on some fucking horses. They tricked them out, dude. Yeah, they tricked them out. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do I keep seeing that horses were small? I keep seeing this like history meme about horses were actually the size of like ponies. Oh, now. I bet they were. I that would have been were. adorable. Dude. Which that means all Foos those medieval all like Braveheart fights <laughs> were on like Shetland ponies. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. Just burros. Yeah, just riding the burro down, dude. <sighs> yeah, because they didn't realize they probably didn't breed them up big for a while. Know, they probably didn't have the nutrition. The, you like, think they were Shetland? Food. Is that a I, real? I, I had to see that. Let, yeah, let that me. It changes know everything, dude. Horses. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah. It's like how like everything, like all fruit, like bananas and stuff used to be tiny and we bred them big. Yeah. You think there would have been like fast and furious heads back then that would have fucking figured out how to <laughs> soup their horses up. I don't know. Yeah. Cause they did it with dogs. There was a roadmap, right? Yeah, True. They that must've been so fuck. I actually thought about that the other day of just a native American, just like getting a wolf, getting a wolf oh. puppy and ha- it must've been so fun. Dude, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped on uh Irish wolfhounds. Yeah, dude. I saw one uh, yesterday. What they're really like? tight. Shaggy boys are big. You never saw an Irish wolfhound? I don't think so. They're huge. Yeah. yeah. They're giant. And they were, I mean, they were literally, they were used to like kill fucking wolves. It would be sick to just roll with a big pack of wolves. Yeah. They, and they're, they're, the wolfhounds, I think they were used, there's like Scottish wolfhounds too that were used by like Vikings. Yeah, they're, these boys, dude. They're fun dogs too, man. They're, uh, they're fucking huge. Oh my God. Let me see yeah. that. That's a real shaggy guy, right? Oh no! Never. Oh yeah, they're a little shaggy, dude. They're like super friendly too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they're sweethearts, man. Look at these guys. I was looking them up. Ah, I was like, damn, awesome. I'd love to have one of these. They live for like six years, dude. They're fun. <laughs> I saw one in a dog. They park literally one time. are the size of a horse. They're fucking huge. Yeah, they're good boys. Dude, my brother, my brother went to Greece. Well, once, obviously not size. Of them. Well, they're big. They're big. They might have been historic. Pretty they're close they're to fucking Shetland. horses. They're Shetlands. They're bigger than Shetlands. Yeah. Look at them with the Shetland. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shetlands are so Shetlands are so awesome, dude. You know there's a miniature pony at the compound. What? There's a miniature pony. Dude, they're the best. There's a miniature pony named Cody <laughs> that's like blind and deaf, dude. That's <laughs> so, it's so fucking old. Dude, it's like third I don't know how old it is, but it's like it's in its twenties, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, how long do horses live? Long time. Birds they're live forever fucking, too. They, they're old, dude. Bro, birds yeah. live forever. Real, I, wonder I, how old like crane? I wonder how yeah those guys are geezers dude parrots are like 140 years old it's yeah. crazy dude i was i was reading about <laughs> uh dude I was, did you ever hear about i'm gonna sound like a bird nerd gold spectral no it's i never heard about it until i read this book but they live i think some of them live on the coast of australia and they kind of like i think it's called cabbage tree island or something okay cabbage island this is such an australian island yeah name. dude cabbage island <laughs> But yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. Like they were like, uh, they have. They don't know exactly how long they live. What but they're like, call it? like what's your favorite thing? Yeah, in the world? cabbage. <laughs> cabbage. <laughs> they they live. They've tracked them to like thirty years old. Who's really? this? This one type of bird. It's like some random bird. Like yeah. 30, thirty. I thought birds live for like a week. Yeah, me yeah. too. Dude, thirty fucking years. The gold spectral. 
It's born in the fucking rocks. It just like lives in the rocks. His mom tends to it. Dad tends to it. And then it becomes 30%. It becomes 30% bigger than its parents in its, in its babyhood. It becomes a nice. good boy bird. Yeah. And then it has Whoa. to. Dude, it's, both of its parents leave it. And out of yeah. nowhere, it's kind of nuts. It's 30% bigger than its parents. And then on someone called instinct, but it's like, you know, it's tough because it's like it gets hungry. Obviously, it's hungry as fuck because the parents stop feeding it. And it has to, it somehow knows how to climb a palm tree or a cabbage tree or some kind of tree. I forget what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Climbs a tree, scales it with its wings, and then it just goes <gasps> and takes flight by itself. No That's one teaches awesome. it. And then it, it's, if it doesn't die, if it, fly, if it, it, you know, if it catches the wind, it then goes out to sea for five years. <laughs> and then comes just back battle hardened just comes out to, goes out to sea for five years as they, they sleep in the air they sleep while they're flying and I, th- I think they land I don't think they because I was like they fly straight for five years that's not true I think the longest flying bird is like a couple hundred days maybe <laughs> crane for obviously but I think one I forget which one it is but the uh, dude it goes out for five years and then it comes back it would be like if you had a whole sheet of paper and you hit a, a period on the end of a sentence it covers that much territory and then comes back to its original island mates then from then on, when it, once it gets pussy, then it leaves for like a year at a time. And just this bird is just out at sea its whole life, basically. It yeah, comes back, chilling. gets pussy, it's gone. It's just is it's free bird, sleeping, bro. dude, sleeping. Half its brain's asleep in the air, and it's just like this. Just float. Imagine waking up in the air and just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was a fat little baby a week ago, and I'm sleeping in the fucking yeah, air. Yeah, it's like Call of the Wild. It's nuts, dude. The guy, yeah. the book was basically like, dude, that's... That's just consciousness. There's no way an animal can be programmed with all that knowledge. It's not instinct. It's not DNA. <laughs> it has to be DNA. It can't be. What do you mean? It, dude, how would it... So you're telling me, how would it store... How could a bird who's never seen anything store an image of a thing that it wants to eat in its head? DNA. Yeah. I don't... I think that... I, I think there's a limitation to DNA with that. No, do you, like do baby you? turtles, if you show them a picture of a hawk, it's like... Ah! Yeah. yeah. So that was that it's stored in its memory. Yeah, I don't know. So you have a cellular a, memory. It's like an inborn thing, right? It's like your babies. Babies are like they hate the heat. I don't know. I guess it hurts. I don't know. I don't know. Heat. Same thing. Yeah. No, that's different. What's heat. Di- heat. In your car. Heat. You're feeling yeah. hungriness. That's that's guys. And how horses, do you know, guys? Horses, even including those used in war, were less than fourteen point two hands, so four to ten inches tall from the ground. Yeah, with that. Is, that <laughs> what? That's Oh, okay. It said majority of you can't medi- trust the Smithsonian. It says dude. medieval horses. Oh, okay. And this was Smithsonian. How high? How- the horses of medieval times. <laughs> and they were how high? Four to ten feet. Four feet ten inches yeah, average. Yeah, I, so. I could have rode one That's of those. That's crazy. They're tiny guys. They're just big dogs. Who had the big horses back then? What? what? Who was the first king to just have enough of four foot ten horses and just put his best man on the yeah, job? Yeah, we gotta get big guys. Yeah, breed these up. Probably the Chinese. <laughs> Chinese are ahead. They're Chinese are ahead of that. No, nah, they want the little guys. You think- <laughs> <laughs> they don't want big horses. Dude, those samurais on Shetlands must have been so. Fun. Yeah. That must have been still all pretty scary. All the Mongols. Scary. Yeah, all the, the Mongols. Mongols, Mongols flying on Shetlands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, Dan Carlin makes it say it's like, and then like they pace it like when all four hooves are off the air and they release their arrow. Yeah. It's like, dude, yeah, there's the shit, bro. Dude. <laughs> they're they're on little shit. Shetlands. Oh, good it's lord! Fun, Ugh, they run into you like, fuck, god, god yeah, damn it, fuck, it hurt. Yeah, <laughs> get kicked. You're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I, I still am terrified of getting kicked by a horse. Yeah, it is very scary. Anytime so I watch scary. a video, I'm I'm scared of it. Dude, I, I go. I just watched a video of a guy getting. Yeah, anytime kicked. there's like a cop on the ho- on a horse in the city, and you're like standing next to one, you're like, all right, dude. How big are those fucking dude, things? Jesus fucking huge. God, Jesus Christ, dude. It's like you can't. Those be are dinosaurs. This around. It's a big. Yeah. Yeah. If that if that guy decides to go wild. Yeah. Yeah, for it's real. It's trouble. <laughs> it's big time trouble. <laughs> Double jinx. Double jinx. Yeah, yeah. Dude, speaking of big time trouble, man, I almost got. I could have got in a bad situation the other day. Why? I'm embar- this is embarrassing. I was, I've been working on this stuff, kind of stuff a lot. And I just, I had a moment of weakness. <laughs> I was at U-Haul. I was renting, I was moving all this stuff. To yeah. Philadelphia satellite office, dude. Just getting everything set up there, put in a little stew. It's, it's pretty sick. So, and I also need a space. I can just go work without being, uh, you know, distracted. <laughs> yeah. Without being accessed. It's you have to get your second family going. True. <laughs> yeah. It's time to begin the true process. It, it is funny when I do. I need more money makers, dude. I need I need some kids. It's time I, to start I could a ship. You could have kids here and ship them to other factories. Yeah. 
to send my kids to like sweatshops. You could adopt right, like an internship. Kids it's like a business family. Yeah. Oh, you might be able to adopt them and then send them back, <laughs> ship them back to Nike, and be like, "This Get is paid. my property. Send me the earnings." True. This is my child. Yes. So we're talking slavery. No, but that's what you. That was your kids. That yeah, was your money makers, dude. There was yeah. your Ubers. That was your little taxi drivers, dude. You could also just start like a really cute Instagram. True. My stomach's getting rowdy, dude. Stomach's getting hungry, hungry, dude. I'm I'm not hungry. It's just... Just digest. All these nicotine pouches mixed with a burrito. (laughs) (laughs) True. (laughs) The, uh, dude, so I I go to U-Haul to rent the drive first. You know I love renting fucking U-Hauls, dude. They're so fucking cheap. I always tell people. I'm like, dude. Someone's like, oh, I need to get a truck. Go to U-Haul. They're twenty dollars. They're twenty fucking bucks. Yeah, you can rent it. And just say you're gonna. Yeah, use don't it get for a rental miles. car. Just drive to another city. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Yeah. I would love to push a U-Haul instead of it. But they, what they do is they do get you on the mileage. <laughs> so, that, but you know, you tell them how many miles. I found out the hard way. One time, I was like, oh, I use it for like twenty miles. I got they hit me. No, it still wasn't crazy. It's like seventy bucks. But yeah, yeah. The, that was when I was like, I was down to Delaware legally buying alcohol and transport over state lines. Really? Yeah, it is what it Isn't is. Isn't that for your wedding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a big old load, dude. It was that could have That was a sick move. They could have got you on state lines, moonshot. Bootlegging, bro. Yeah. Oh my like, god. I would have went to Eastern State. Is that illegal? And technically, yeah. Around Christmas time they have cops that like chill, Delaware State Troopers that'll try to catch people bringing tax free liquor back into Pennsylvania. Uh, How much money did you save? Probably like Six hundred four. No, I think I calculated. It was like four or five hundred dollars. That's great. It yeah, was good. Amazing. That was taxes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm live free or die. Just to go to fucking what? Not what far. are we doing? Trying to get more female engineers? <laughs> yes. What type of bullshit is our tax <laughs> money going to? It's like a thirty we need minute to drive. Teach broads math. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was actually. It was, I think the, the Pennsylvania has a high. <laughs> I tax say we go back to Mayan rituals. <laughs> True. Sl- yeah. Cut their heads off. Yeah. That must be crazy. Most popular makeup tutorials. Yeah. Where everyone's like, yo, your your daughter's looking pretty good. Be like, nah, I'd say your daughter's a looker, dude. She's, <laughs> yeah. uh, she's all right. Yeah. But she's not the hottest girl in the I village. Yes, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. I wonder how they judged it, too. Just a girl with the biggest fucking milkies, dude. And they're like, her Ooh, milk. she's got big milkies. Those are nice milks. We might have, sli- have to slit her I'm up. I'm kind of interested in tiny horses. <laughs> <laughs> this is great yeah dude just, let me see you just get on your horse you dwarf the fucking horse oh damn it's a nice time dude you had to carry a dude with all that yeah. armor on their back so you get down to the u-haul dude so i'm in the <laughs> u-haul i got a good deal going on i also had an expired well yeah i have an expired license so i was kind of worried about that because my license expired right after my birthday mm-hmm. and i'm in right now i'm in my grace period before i go to pen dot so my personally imposed grace period <laughs> but i went to u-haul and i'm like shit man they're gonna you know fuck like I, they don't give me shit about this expired license so i'm like i do the early, i'm like sitting in line doing like the digital check-in because you get to fill in your own information mm-hmm. and i was like yeah my license is good till 2023 <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like yeah i, I don't want to be held up on this because i it, like i just realized this I was like fuck like they might give me shit about this which you know they, they would have been within their right to do so um so i'm checking out and there's a lady in front of me and this this dude like two dudes come and they knock on the window and i'm like how I, how can these guys not get into u-haul but the, the they were at like a the like the loading dock bay it's where the guy would have to have let him in and then the dude working the register looked at him and was like fuck them like he didn't say it but he was just like Mm-mm. And i'm like the fuck i had no idea I'm like, that's weird yeah a big russian guy and uh and and then they keep knocking keep knocking finally they somehow get in and they come and get in front of this lady and start yet screaming at the dude behind the counter. They're like, this is fucking bullshit. We've been here for an hour. This guy, it was a guy, he's a white pussy. He's like, I hired movers, blah, 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 blah. He's going off, just attacking, so fucking mean to this guy. He's yeah. like, you fuck, you're a fucking idiot. They're just screaming at him. The guy's like, sir, I cannot help you. I cannot help you. You have said, I am a Sean Gardini. <laughs> I am a the superstar, Sean Gardini. <laughs> I work at the U-Holes. <laughs> you just call the corporate number. He's like, I'm not calling the fucking number. He goes, I will no longer help you. Use that language towards me. And they, yes. Uh, wouldn't do it. And this guy's irate. And the girl goes, guys, can I please just finish what I'm doing? And they're like, oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, again, I should mention, it's a honky. He's got the moving squad. He's got like four black dudes. Yeah. So this guy, he's feeling pretty he's powerful. Got temptations. He's feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got the backup dancers. <laughs> he's feeling, this guy's like throwing his weight around crazy. And I'm sitting there like, so they, they're like, oh yeah, of course. You let the girl finish. 
And then the girl finishes and I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, my turn. So I walk up. The dude goes, whoa, hold on, man. Literally goes, oh, hold on. Yeah, we got something to handle. And I was like, like put his hand out to stop me in my wow. tracks. I instantly black out with they anger. I was like, shut the fuck up. It's my turn. The guy was like, <laughs> oh, and like he said, I think I, I was like, sorry, bro. I, sorry what's ha- I was like, sorry, what's happening with you? I actually didn't spaz at first. I'm like, bro, sorry what's happening, but I got to get my stuff. Too bad with your stuff. I'm next. <laughs> and he goes, okay, bro. Okay, bro. A 40-year-old who says, bro, that's really cool. Oh. That's when I Did was just- go, I'm not 40. <laughs> Dude, literally, I got. I just immediately got in his face. Full bug eye. I was like, oh, oh fuck it. I was, my heart was beating so fast. I'm like stuttering like, oh, fuck, fuck you, fuck it. And I spaz, dude. Whoa. Full spaz. The temptation, he had one temptation with him. <laughs> temptation gets up and he's like, oh, I'm like, fuck you too. I start spazzing on both of them. Oh my God. I just, I went off the handle. I was like, fuck you. You were unhinged. Pussy. I was unhinged. <laughs> I was hitting him like, you don't even know who, the, you don't know who people are, dude. You could, I could be anyone. And the black guy, <laughs> he triggered the black guy. He goes, you don't know who people are. You don't know who people are. And I was like, fuck you, dude. And he was, so we're going back and forth. And I'm like, fuck your little thing. I'm next. Fuck off. And the Russian guy's like, you're upsetting my customer. Please leave. So <laughs> me and the Russian guys, we formed an alliance. Yes. So wow. he right away was like, I'm so sorry about them. In my head, I was like, nice. He's not going to bother me about my license. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we, so I started checking out and this guy kept chirping. And it was just like the whole, I was like, stop filling out paperwork and be like, dude, shut the fuck up. You're a pussy. And he would be like, oh yeah, am I a pussy? I'm like, fuck you, dude. Oh, I'm is glad. This in like a waiting room? Yeah, no, nothing. we're in U-Haul. This is in like the main room. So then I, and I was yeah, like, like in, the, in, the, in the office, the front yeah, desk, the main office. Yes, chairs. Yes, yes, yes. Main front desk. So I, I would sit there and I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. He'd be like, these guys are fucking children. And I would sit there and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Are we kids? Yeah. You're the only person here is being mature. I'd be like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> and the guy, the Russian guy's like, I have him on camera. He hit, he dented my property. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, f-, I'm like, fuck him, man. I was yeah. firing the Russian up. I was like, fuck him. And then, so then I was like, man, that was so fucking, un- I could have easily been like, hey man, I'm sorry it happened, but I'd like, just let me finish this out. I, I just went like, like I'm fucking next. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him with so a hard spaz. 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 Full fucking spaz. And then I go, I'm sitting there. My heart's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, dude, just go get your car. Don't go fuck with them. Leave them alone. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to fuck with them. And I go outside. And I see them standing there twiddling their thumbs. And the dude pulls my van up to me. And I was just like, thanks, man. Customer service was fantastic, dude. Really appreciate you. And I look back at the boys. And I was like, yo, you guys need, I got a van. If you guys want to move some stuff, I'm actually operational. I can move. Dude, the temptations start chirping. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I only talked to the boss. What's the boss saying, boys? <laughs> <laughs> they got fired off of me. And then I, the boss guy, I was, you know, I called him a couple of things. And I just took What'd off. you call him? Boss guy. Does it start with an F? <sighs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah. I have to Lent. I'm giving it up for Lent. You should. I'm giving that up for Lent. I'm giving yes. specifically my dogs. I have a bad habit. You call your dogs faggots. I constantly go Jackson. What? Only. I can't help it. I'm like, come on. Every time I get him outside, I'm like, come on, you faggot. Like, I'm like, get out. Yeah, of here. yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I got to give it up. I don't know why. Good lord. Yeah, I can't. Time. I'm giving up for Lent, dude. It's it's time to give up the word, Matt. For Lent, it makes me sick that you still use it. Only in anger. Only in my, my Latin Only passion. in true anger. Only, <laughs> yeah. only, only when I really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it was absolutely mission critical to use that word to keep yes. you from getting a, in a fight? I had to divide it him might against, have been. I had to divide no, him against the temptations. That word is full on, let's fight. Yeah, it's let's yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, no, let's, that let's, was let's just, the, that's a nuke. You hit, if you're in a dispute like that and you hit someone with that, yeah, especially on probably a drive off. Did you drive off after you said it? Yeah, but I was standing there. I, it wasn't like a runaway. Oh, you weren't was, in the car? I was just outside the car. And I was just like, yo, if you guys need help. And they're like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. That's, I hit, that was the temptations. I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's talk to the boss. What's the boss got to say? And I was like, I started lifting into the boss. And uh, yeah, it was ugly, bro. Yeah, you got lucky. Yeah. That they were soft. Yeah. They weren't going to do it. I was full. I'm mad dog, dude. I mean, they could have killed me. Yeah, yeah they, the temptations but... could have killed me. That was, yeah, that was dumb of me. Yeah. Yes. That's Again, what I mean. Dude, I was a crazy ass white boy, though. That's terrifying. That is. Scary. That was terrifying. Dropping yeah. f bombs. They're like, this guy's. Were you wearing the ho- hokas? Yes, dude. That's terrifying. I think I was wearing this exact outfit. <laughs> this is terrifying. I was wearing this exact outfit, and this I had is my a goatee. Psychopaths outfit. Oh yeah, dude. It was. Yeah. They were. They did. They, they didn't. My bug. I bug eyed the dude. Yeah. I went full foo in his face. I had the one guy when he started talking shit. I got an inch from his face. Wide eye. I hope you like hospital food. Spitting, food. dude. <laughs> spitting, <laughs> dude. It's like I'll fucking kill you. You're, you're not that guy. Basically, hit him with you your face. Like, you're not that guy, dude. You're not that guy. And dude, and the guy was just. And like, that he wasn't that guy. Praise Allah. He wasn't. Either the temptations. He could have been the no, guy. No, the temptations. I, I was just like, bro, mind your own fucking business. My beast with the boss. 
So he kept chirping. I was like, dude, shut up. And I would just be like, you're a fucking pussy. I didn't pay any mind to the temptation. That was yeah. kind of like, yeah, okay, dude. I had that Ruski would have, that Ruski would have helped me. The Ruski was, was ready. Big Ruski? He was an old man. He was like an old, just barreled fucking. That would have been good. Bald Ruski. That would have been right. good Ruski. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. No, like, he would have, he would have been like in, uh, in The Departed when they get in a fight. He'd be I like, you are, what are you doing? Get out of my shop. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows that? Or he pulls out a double barrel shotgun from underneath and the he table. He takes yeah. aim at one of the temptations <laughs> <laughs> for no he reason. He might have shot like, the white pussy was chirping, dude. Was it? The temps were well, quiet. What was the, what, give me the makeup of the white pussy. What did he look like? Dude, yeah. it was like a tall, he was tall. He was like probably six one, tall, skinny guy with like glasses and like one of those like thin winter jackets that like I can't explain it. Like it's an LL like, Bean, like a fleece. No, it was like a almost like, kind of like mine, like a thin bubble, but it was like shinier and like a nice. He was dressed in like nice, like rich white pussy. You could have knocked. Oh, you could have. I would have yeah, fucking yeah. devastated okay. this guy. Yeah. But he had the temps on his side. So that was tough, man. They could have jumped in and kicked my fucking ass. Yeah, four. I could have fucked up the money. He would have at yeah. least had, had to four take tops. his glasses he had the four, the four tops. tops. <laughs> <laughs> four tops could have got you. So, yeah, but I, I was like, in my head, I was like, that's hopefully the last of that kind of thing. I could have totally That's not the last. Calmly. You're a spaz. I know, dude, but I've been doing so good. You're a spaz. The fact that it entered my head to not go out and fuck with him, it was like, don't do that. I haven't let go of the bending the fork incident. When I bend a fork? Oh, you, yeah. That's oh, the God. biggest spaz I've <laughs> ever heard of. That's crazy. <laughs> I was, that was what I was doing the dishes. I got in an argument and just went... <laughs> is it not? Why? Isn't that terrifying? <laughs> yeah, that is. That's crazy. like scary, psycho. Just like I have the anger to be dude. mean to me. Yeah. I used to smash fucking glasses in the dishwasher. I mean, did you, I, what bag did you kick? That was reason. That's lack of sleep. That's lack of sleep, though. So yeah, I guess sometimes there was, you there was, I was going to kick a fucking. This is pretty recently. I was going to kick an empty shopping bag, paper bag. <laughs> and I wound up. I was like, fuck. And I was going to kick it, and all, I saw asparagus. And I was like. And just like pussy kicked it. My wife just looked back and I was like, ah, and just went upstairs. Like, oh, man. Yeah. Then you storm upstairs with that fat yeah. dump, dude. Yeah, you storm upstairs. I love seeing you dunk. Well, you got to storm up. You got to storm up. You're like, you're fucking hurting me because you're stressing me out. And you go upstairs. Yeah, you got to. That's the tough part about arguing with women. You got to hit them with gay stuff. You got to be like, your your attitude is affecting me and it makes me feel bad. <laughs> you got to say something like that. You can never just be like, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. It's always got to be like, you can, but what you're doing, it, it is hurting me and you, you it's not good. Yeah, this to is do. not effective communication. Yeah, and then I yeah. slam a fucking door and I say, I was, you're not even Ukrainian. <laughs> I was talking to Budley about this recently. I was telling him that I'll do that. That's my dark arts where you start using therapy language on girls and it, that's a very like... It's a very unwieldy weapon to start bringing up like boundaries and stuff. And girls are like, I read about this on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Finally, it was very funny. He was like, if you do that to a girl, they just look at you and they'd be like, I see you've been practicing the arts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hit girls with big words. Oh, and they're hit, like, Dude, I hit call my wife a curmudgeon the other day. Fucked her up. Probably. So you stop being a curmudgeon. And she was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. I was like, look it up. She was like, she looked it up, and it was like an old, just crabby. Like, hey, come on. Yeah. Oh, a stick in the mud. Stick in the mud's good. If you hit women with like high level, it, I call, I, I called Mac. I told Mac's wife she was decadent. <laughs> dude, dude, you she a cried. decadent hoe. She cried. I've I've right. fantasized about about decadent. like. It's <laughs> like you're so decadent, dude. Was she being decadent? What was she trying doing? to go was to some fancy like restaurant? No, she's trying to go yeah. to some fancy restaurant. <laughs> oh, no, I, no, sorry, it was indulgent. Yeah. She was so indulgent. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> what? Why would you say that? I've I've fantasized sometimes about like in the middle of a fight just being like, all right, and getting out a sheet of paper. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing. What was she wearing? Gold? <laughs> Decadence? Decadent? Gilded? Yeah. Just We're, getting out a piece of paper and drawing like an argument flow chart. Oh, it's like, you said this. Man. That's what I did. I That's what this. I did in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Oh. I said, here's, here's my side of it. Correct me where I'm wrong. Yeah. This is what happened. We were having a very nice day. We went for a nice <laughs> oh, walk no. together. I, I put on Fox News. You got angry. Yeah. You yeah. stopped talking to me. <laughs> I said, what's wrong? <laughs> you said, I'm mad. I said, yeah. that's what Fox News does. <laughs> then I didn't care enough about Ukraine. <laughs> that was the next step. Well, you, they, they'll they they'll scrub the history and change. they'll be like, no, all I said was like, no, it's just, yeah. They'll, it, they'll scrub their tone. They'll fucking literally growl at you and then be like, all I said was like, well, what's yeah. wrong with that? That's like, why you need that's to. That's not how you fucking said that. Yeah. Let's clear that up. Well, I did. Why are you so angry? And it's like. Well, yeah. Why are you angry? Then you look for a fork and you just go. Oh, yeah. Then you go. I to can't the, win. Then you go to the yeah, sink. And, yeah. <laughs> See that's, a sweet green bag and you just fucking. Fuck. 
Yeah. Dude, that's the next time you get in a fight, just immediately flip open the laptop, open a Word document, and go like, all right, let's go. Ooh. And just start. We'll just do you start. know how quickly we'll just, you will be left? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to do, do this right now. You're going to do this right now. Dude, I tried doing voice memo. I tried being like, hit the record. Yeah. I tried to be like, well, I did record. She's like, you've recorded me? I was like, I didn't know. It was not a recording like that. I was like. <laughs> no, but it's like, well, because we're going to lose. You got to just take the fucking L. Yeah. You got to just know that in an hour, it's gonna you're going to get a text. It's like, I love you. Yeah, true. That's all it is. True. I but know. I agree. In the moment, I can't. No. Like the fact that I was getting in a fight about Russia and Ukraine. Yeah, no. I couldn't get over it. I was like, are it's you serious? You're, you getting, you're sliding into girl you world. You slide into girl world. And, you're like, <laughs> and it's just full on fucking like, well, now my feelings are hurt. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm stressed and I have a show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I have to perform. That's the worst, dude. Yeah. Try to explain. Do you know what it's like to be in a bad mood and have to do that? It's like, well, yeah. ma- that's, dude, that's a quick one of them to be like, well, I can't control how you feel. That's on you. And it's like, <laughs> you did this. You literally controlled how I feel. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah that's a, uh, but it, it is the right thing. It's yeah, just you're go, an emotional terror. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to take a little breather. Because they do, if they respect you, like, I need to take some time by myself. And then you just go hang out by yourself. Oh, I've been hit with, but I want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, that's, I, when you call, that's when you call well, pause. No, I always to talk, talk about it. I'm the one who always wants to talk about it. No, yeah, you can call yeah, pause. I can right, never. I, I can never let it go. Because first yeah. off, I'm not wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that. Do you call pause? You go. I'm gonna call pause. She'll call it pause. You got call pause. I get hit with silent. If you hit me with silent treatment, I'm oh, done. bro, I hit the roof. I'm done. I hit the roof. Or I go. Oh, we're not gonna talk. We're not gonna talk now. Okay. Yeah. It cool. fucks me up. She knows That's that. fucking cool. She knows but that. But nobody, dude. nobody, nobody can hit a silence like you can hit a silence. Me? Yeah. When you get <laughs> when you get upset and you go you can get mute, a treatment. You literally like objects <laughs> objects in the room start moving toward it's like a black hole. It's just like you like I'll get I'll dish out a treatment. <laughs> <laughs> the Shane's silent treatment is the silence is definite. Oh, I, I can't treat. I get silent yeah. I fucking spin out. If I get silent treatment, I I crumble and, and she knows that. Or if it's a text silent treatment, she'll just hit me with a okay sign. She'll go like this. Thumbs up. I'll just go. Yeah, girls, you can tell it's it's as it's clear as crystal when they're angry. They have three Via OKs, text. three OKs yeah, in a row. Normally, okay. it's fucking ten paragraphs of gibberish, <laughs> <laughs> and then the second it's like yes, no, okay, it's oh. like, fuck. What are you mad at? Yeah. Well, I sent you ten paragraphs, and all you said was okay. Oh, because that's boy. all I do. I don't half yeah. the time. I don't even respond to texts. I get yeah. busted for a haha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. She, that's all you're gonna say. And like, oh. so I'm like. <laughs> Yes. No, I thought what you said was funny. It was a very interesting thing. <laughs> Your coworker is a bitch. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah, we were in improv. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's it's an absolute. It is. Yeah, women suck. Mental warfare, dude. They stink. They're troublesome. Yeah, but they do have some good poos. Hey. <laughs> and when they're nice, it's so nice. When they're nice, it's great. It's the yeah. best, dude. Yeah. Nice, it's like man, you're great. My girl got tired last night, and I was mad at her. <laughs> I, I get was like, mad what? If we're mad. done. We're not talking anymore. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a great night. Went and saw Jackass together. That was That's my awesome. Valentine's Day treat. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> I took her to see Jackass. <laughs> Suddenly, this Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Oh, like there was. Oh, there was something underneath that. Yeah. yeah. There's no way we were fighting. That about. was a geopolitics. There was something situation. else. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a proxy. That was a proxy. <laughs> proxy he was holding hands during Jackass. <laughs> I was so happy during yeah. Jackass. Yeah, dude. She was laughing the whole time. Jackass, Jackass is the best. Yeah. And it like, I don't know. I'm like emotional about Jackass. Yeah. I really am. I love it that much. I, I like Like, Jackass. I mean, all the old stuff. They show old clips. Oh, and when yeah, they're young, yeah. they show Ryan Dunn. They show all this. I'm just yeah. I'm like, don't tear up at the end of Jackass. That's got deep hooks <laughs> back in your childhood. It does. Though. I yeah. love it. Yeah, dude. That was before... We all had to live with girls and stuff. Yeah. It's just the bros, dude. Yeah, just with your mom. And mom would just be like, yeah. And you're like, okay, mom. Yeah, see you, mom. Did Jackass go longer than Tom Brady? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Nobody's talking about that. Jackass outlasted Tom Brady, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It shows in the new one. The boys are old. <laughs> Both really? as physically as demanding, too. Uh, yeah. NFL, it's Jackass. Almost more impressive. Dude, fucking Knoxville in this one gets hit by a bull so hard. What? Like, so hard. What? Can they yeah. finally stop? They call it quits. I think they're done, dude. They they're passing the torch. There's One young last. guys. Oh, really? There's young guys they've put in. Make some money off the young boys. The yeah. young boys are paying their dues now. Who's the young boys? 
uh, the dude Zach I was telling you about. I met him at fucking uh, the UFC thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach and Rachel, the girl that's in it. There's a girl in it. Yeah. What happens to her? She fucking tases her tongue. <laughs> what? They do this thing with dude. It's crazy. They do this thing where it's Zach or no, not Zach. It's Poopsies. Nice. Rachel and Steve-O. and they're mimes, so they can't make a noise. Whoever makes a noise loses. The girl goes. She has to lick a taser and not make a noise. Then the next guy goes, and he has to fucking kiss a rat snake. A fucking Texas, it's, it's, it bites him in the face twice. What? And he has to silently do it. What? And then Steve-O gets a guillotine to the shins of a skateboard. It's fucking crazy. Oh he screams God. right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And pukes. There's a lot of puking. There's a lot of dong and nuts, nice. which I like. I like to see some dick and nuts. Nice. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. It's, That's fucking nuts, dude. It's so it's wild. Do they they have how is their inclusivity? Do they have any is it just honk still? No. What? Of course not, dude. The new guys. New what? A lot of the a lot of the new guys are Afro American. You would think that would get a lot of all hell no's, dude. It did. The one that's the best guy. The one guy's dad is in it. His, his dad oh, was in no. prison, and he now he he did Jackass. It's so funny. God damn! They just get a hood black dude. He's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, wow. like <laughs> animals and shit. <laughs> oh my dude, so god, fun. that's gotta be. Wow. I gotta see that. What a great wow! What a great movie. Wow. <laughs> that gets my two thumbs up. What it's, treats did you have in the movie? What theater? treats did I have, yeah. Matt? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I had skull. Just skull the whole time. I skull, baby. Right, my so my awesome. woman was treated to a gallon bucket of popcorn and uh a diet pepsi nice also the guy wouldn't give me a cup for a spitter i was fuming what i was like can i just can i get a cup also because i bought a fucking 90 gallon water <laughs> and i was like can i get a cup and he's like you can have one of these complimentary cups which is like a plastic two ounce dude. cup bullshit and i was like can you just i was like can i get one of those a small soda cup he's like i'd have to charge you and i was like would you have to yeah and he was like yeah unfortunately and then my girlfriend stepped in and was like, all right, let it go. I was like, all right, I'll take that. She pulls just, you back. I'll just pollute your movie theater with dip. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah. Now clean. <laughs> That's what I said. To I walked out. I said, clean that up in there. <laughs> I made a mess. Dude. You made a mistake. <laughs> I watched I watched Nobody with my dad last night. What's that one? The one with, oh. uh, yeah, Bob Odenberg. That's a great movie. Dude, it's a great movie. And so, and the first like 20 minutes is just kind of sad. Yeah. You know? Until, until until his daughter loses the kitty cat bracelet. Yeah. And dude, my dad, my dad literally from the bus drives, the bus scene on when he like, he gets on a bus and like a bunch of like Russian drunk yeah. assholes get on and he just beats the living shit out of all, all of them. Well, also getting the shit. Yeah. He gets murdered. Him. Yeah. What? <laughs> dude. You'd like this movie. It's pretty Sounds sick. Pretty good. It sounds like you at the U-Haul. It could have happened. My dad stood up during that scene and did not sit back down. Until yeah, the end of the that's great. <laughs> Dude, he just stood and watched it and just going, <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it oh, was the, movie the is funniest great. fucking thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's an underrated movie. Dude. First time we watched it, we were doing the same thing. We were oh, like, this dude. is incredible. Dude. I got to see. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Oh, when You're they, like three for three on movie Rex. My, this, yeah, you Jackass is obvious. One. I'm saying, yeah, last, last duel, duel was. Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see last duel, but everyone oh I've talked God. to said it's fantastic. Go see it. Yeah. Bro. Is it in theaters? You can see it on yeah. HBO. Yeah. I'll watch on HBO. Yeah, bro, you're gonna weekend love it. Movie. It's Don't gonna be your that. favorite movie. Really, you're gonna love the way they handle shit. It's like dowries, oh. and I'm gonna sue you. Yes, you're gonna love all that. Yes, shit. dude. And it shows everybody's perspective. So the guy will be like, "Well, this is where I said this," and then it shows mm. the next guy, and he's like, "Well, I'm the one who said that." It's great. You're gonna like it. That'll be fantastic. And there's a rate. Really? Yeah, pretty intense one. Really? Yeah, you get to see it three times. <laughs> Is that what the whole thing's about? That's what yeah. the whole thing's about. Shit. Yeah, you're going to like that film. Yeah. Check that on. Check that on. It's uh, good. Check Jackass, on Jackass rules. Yeah. I liked the last one better, but they're geese now. True. Yeah. yeah. The yeah fucking Knoxville in the last one was all out. It's the most recent one. He's, they all, yeah, he gets rocked by bulls every time. Fuck, that's this be- one was the hardest one. It looks like the hardest one. It's, he's got Dude, he, He's got to have a little bit of a death wish. He's so. fucked up. He, he he like got really hurt on that. He like broke his ribs and his wrist and his he got a concussion. What the fuck? He's done. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely. What's up with Bam? Bam wasn't in it. Wham Bam wasn't in it. He was sorely missed as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. As a jackass fan like myself. True. You hate to see it and it's sad. 
Yeah. Was he but done with stunts though? He might have been done with he stunts. He was he's just really fucked up. Yeah, he got on drugs and shit. Yeah. He's like fucked up. But he was posting some funny videos on Instagram for a Sweet. while. That's what's up. He'd be like crying and like throwing up and be like, I just don't know why Jackass <laughs> <laughs> like they won't let me do the film, man. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously it was incredibly sad. Yeah, it's sad. But is it's he a, fucking it's around? Tragic. No, he's not. Oh, he's no. like fucked up on drugs. Oh shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. They should have let him in, let the boy in. I, th- I thought. I think they had a sobriety clause in them. Yeah, the they had a contract he, like, with him. Yeah, they delayed the movie, right? I think they were. I think they were trying oh, to get him man. in, and I think there's rumors that he's going to be in the. You know how they do a point five every time. So yeah. hopefully that was hopefully on, Bam gets in there. Oh, he's on the heroin. I would imagine. I think he's on the junk. Yeah, it looks like the junk, dude. How's he looking? Although he is getting beefy. Some you can still eat on the junk. Well, sometimes that doesn't. It, it typically doesn't happen on the junk. Oh, coke for sure, like meth and stuff. But it, people still. That one guy was doing junk. I used to work with. He's like, good stuff about this. You can still eat. Yeah, it's not like coke. We can't. He's like, you need. I, I eat good. That's good stuff. Oh it's like, good. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to sell me on it. He was like, it's not that bad. We saw some BAM documentary where the some doctor was like, yeah, like you probably shouldn't skateboard because your muscles are so brittle yeah, from right. booze. They could just snap. Like his bones? No, no. Like his, his oh, tendons. Oh, really? Yeah, his he's tendons, like, alcohol. like Holy fuck. I don't know. They just got like cooked in alcohol or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was boozing pretty yeah, good. I feel like heroin dudes do typically... Yikes. Yeah, he's beefed up. They typically do turn into like skeletons yeah. eventually, oh, yeah. but if, yeah. you, if you have a little bit of money, you probably can stay eating the good stuff. It's too. crazy how much he looks like Phil. Yeah, he looks like his dad, yeah. like exactly like him. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Don. But yeah. Pedo. Don Pedo, dude. Don <laughs> Pedo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's, that is pretty. That is big for a. Then at the end, it says Ryan Dunn forever, and I was just like, <laughs> R.D. Miss forever. Fucking boy, dude. I love my boys. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched, somehow I fe- fell upon Have you ever heard of Gumball 3000? No, what's that? It's a movie where like Bam and Ryan Dunn and Tony Hawk and like a bunch of other guys in super expensive cars race across Europe as fast as they can. What? And it's from like, nine, it's from like it must have been 2005, 2006. Damn. So they're all like super young and everywhere they go, they just get mobbed by fans. Yeah. Like it's, cr- it's like the Beatles. Yeah. Damn. Dude. You forget how fucking huge, huge those guys were. Yeah. It was, it's nuts, but that it was, is, it's very fun. I've said it before. That was like the craziest thing. It was getting on like trains in Madrid, seeing everybody wearing like jackass shirts. Yeah. I saw like three different people that were like fans of jackass. Really? Kind of I was dude. like, damn. Yeah. yeah they're, they're international. That movie, there's no, there's no plot. There's no, you don't need language. True. It's just people doing wild shit. Yeah, and you're like, holy fuck. That yeah. was pre-internet too. Well, yeah. that, it was like, yeah, actually, can't kill yourself. Was that was crazy, dude? CKY. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It ruled, That's, dude. That once. <laughs> that song fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I just skate so hard to that. <laughs> grind a fucking curb <laughs> that was like that high. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, dude. Did you ever rollerblade? Did you ever like grind on? Oh yeah, dude. Matt, we talked about <laughs> that. <laughs> Matt Matt can blade, dude. I was nasty at blading, dude. Yeah. I rollerbladed. No one knows this about me. I rollerbladed. I think pre first grade I was rollerblading. I was rollerblading when I lived in Havana. No one knows this about me. <laughs> I, I was rollerblading young, dude. I, like I still something. It's not I'm as well known as it should be, but I'm just good at rollerblading. Like, when I dude, was I'm young. something of a You're just a from place to place. I'm a rollerblading prodigy. I was rollerblading in my neighborhood at like six years old, Whoa. and people were like, I remember the older kids were like, dude, we're fucking rollerblading. I remember just being like, yeah. I thought I was so fucking cool. How often did you rotate the wheels? I didn't get into aggressive inline. That was my, I was talking okay. about, I was lamenting that last week. I was a skater and it was like, you know, you know, people laughed at bladers, but my, my heart of hearts, I was a nasty blader. I got to blade one time on a half pipe. Again, this could be a false memory. I'm pretty sure it happened, but I was riding, I think either a four foot vert or maybe a six. I think it was a four. Damn. And I was like pretty good. I was going up and down it. And I'm like, dude, I'm pretty good at this. Damn. And then I was like, let me take these off. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't want boys to see me. Were you a street this. hockey, street hockey guy? No. Well, I was. I would play in my sneakers. We used to play street hockey. Me and my okay. two cousins, and uh, sometimes we pull out the blades. But a lot of times, you play in your sneakers. It's like you're nasty as fuck. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, me and my cousins would play street hockey and like fight each other. Yeah, <laughs> really. We would get drop his gloves. Yeah, yeah. we start. We were like kind of laughing and fucking around, but we would like punch each other in the face and stuff. The best was when it snowed and there were snow banks. On the yeah. curbs, so you could check hard into the curbs. I never got to do that. That sounds oh, sick, Oh, it was the dude. best. We had wide streets in my neighborhood. We oh. played, and we had this one family had 
all the equipment. So we had two goalies with full pads oh, and fuck. regulation nets. That's Damn. awesome. Shit was incredible. That's awesome. I bought a mask. I played goalie. <laughs> you're go- you're probably nasty. Bro, I loved it. You're the stone wall. I was Brian Boucher, dude. Really? Yeah. You're nasty. Were you I stand up or butterfly flame, I, 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 I would claim butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> but all you had to do was roll it on the ground. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. get it. Hit that hole? I couldn't get down. The five hole? Yeah. Because I'd have skates. I couldn't get down. Oh, oh God. You're dude, just standing yeah. on skates all the time? And that's a yeah. big drop. Who was yeah. the other goalie? Uh, the kid who lived across the street, we called him Hedberg because that was the po- the Penguins goalie. <laughs> His head were, Hedberg was Hedberg versus Boucher. Dude, How was I had your glove? a nice glove. Really? I had a baseball glove. <laughs> I had the waffle board, dude. I, <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I bet you're probably I loved, nasty I loved hockey so I wanted to be a goalie so bad. Yeah. Fuck. That's yeah. how I got into it. Street hockey yeah. goalie. Yeah. It was so fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Goalie was, was too was much big, pressure, man. I was big. I could I could deflect True, everything. Yeah, yeah. I took up half the net. True, I was tough at all times. Did you were like a you hit with a waffle, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. bro. You you no, know, we had we had we had hockey pads. Really? Yeah, I would wear like a Capitals. I remember I had a Capitals jersey. Oh my god! Yeah, it was sick. Oh, that's Full awesome. pads, metal pipes. You got to yeah. tell Joan to dig up great. some pics. No, True. I don't think there are any photos. Really? Yeah, yeah. It stinks. Yeah, we'd play just like one on one on one. And just all start punching each other. Yeah, that's if if we didn't have enough. Yeah, you just lay down a trash can. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. We had a little net. We had a little little touch. But it did suck when somebody wore sneakers and everyone else was on skates. That was my shit, dude. You were the sneakers. <laughs> You're so <laughs> good. Such bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you were just wearing them in the on fucking a dime. net, dude. Bro, everybody had. We had to wear skates. Little <laughs> yeah. brothers could wear sneakers, <laughs> and then they'd score on me. They get a fucking <laughs> fast break. I'm like, oh fuck! <laughs> just fall down. Did you, you ever lay out? You ever I would lay down. Oh, of course I laid down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was deadly. Dude, but then my one friend's awesome. older brother would come home from hockey oh, practice. Rip shots. And just rip <laughs> slap shots. <laughs> Dude. And I'd have to be like, I'm not scared. <laughs> oh. I was so scared. Oh, dude. yeah, dude. It hurt. It's terrifying. Yeah, especially the street <laughs> hockey balls, those orange fucking balls. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, though, sitting there in goalie glory, all of a sudden an older kid comes home. Older kid all, comes home from practice. Plays hockey. You got to be yeah. like, okay. Just, <laughs> just full on <laughs> skating towards the puck first and slap it. Oh, you hit him with the waffle? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Quick glove, dude. <laughs> Snag it out of the air. Wait, the waffle is a waffle on your legs or no? Your the waffle arm? is your board. Other oh, hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have a you have your with glove side and your blocker you side. Gosh, and you're holding the stick with the waffle. With the block, yeah. Waffle boarded them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a full set. That shit rolled. Yeah, that that sounds awesome. And then they would ice their driveway too. That was fun. What? Play hockey out there too. On actual skates. Yeah. Holy shit! Ruled. Shit. Damn. Shit ruled. That's incredible. I got tight. to play pond hockey a couple times. That's cool. Really fun. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty sick. Damn. I'd yeah. like to I'd like to suit up again, dude. I need to see I you gotta, with a goal, I bro. Fix these hip flexors so I can get down there. We might have to take the skanks on in a second sport after we yeah. destroy them. I mean, in this basketball. will be a absolute slaughter. Yeah, after we destroy them in basketball. Although Big J might be formidable in the net as well. <laughs> 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 if I know anything about my style, Big J is right there. <laughs> Just put your legs together and stand like this. Yeah, but I'll show whatever up. Whatever side they're on. I'll show up day of and be like, ah, I only got my sneakers. And I'll just yeah, be fucking sneak them. cutting, dude. There's no chance Lewis is not playing in sneakers. True, true. They, I mean, yeah, that, that should be the real betting odds. Is Lewis going to wear pants for the basketball game? <laughs> 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 Your outfit today was slick. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking bathing suit. Yeah. Hokas. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just running. Wait till I get my basketball shoes. Wait till shoes. you get the sneaks, bro. Wait till my basketball we shoes. We should get uniforms. We have to. They're getting uniforms. Oh, we'll get we'll get some. We gotta unis. get on. Yeah, to the we'll uniforms. get that. We'll get that easily. We'll get some unis. There's a sure. guy who made shorts. I gotta find him. Yeah, he gave me that box of gym shorts. Really? You guys should go real classic looking. Short, high, high, high shorts. Yeah. yeah. All white. Oh yeah. For Little sure. Trim. Maybe cream. Some pennies. Get some pennies. <laughs> a little khaki. Get some pennies out there, dude. Yeah, we could just yeah. We're oh, just yeah. gonna we're just gonna win, dude. Yeah, dude, we can, we should wear polos and dress pants <laughs> <laughs> and just win in class. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> <That'd be pretty laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty confident, man. I feel pretty confident. Be After like, seeing you today, I'm full confidence. And I know yeah. what you can do in the post, so it's uh, the fact that I'll have a low post. I never low post option. The, the whole fact day. that yeah. all the day. fact that last game last week when we played at the end, they were like, "Oh, you guys are gonna win." Just from me. This week, they're like, "It's over." Yeah, it's for their fried. Yeah. Popster. 
we were running the weave. We were heavy. You guys weave. were. <laughs> oh, I noticed dude, that. We, even, we were weaving Everybody hard. Everybody was today. cutting. Yeah. yeah, man. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. You had that weave. nice take where you fell. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear me yell? I was like, good take, Chris. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was a great, yo, that was a great drive, dude. Dude, if I, could oh, get yeah. it, if I could just get a shot. Yeah, that's I tough. know that's a big ask, but like, dude, I, elbow I mean, in and you release at the top of your jump. <laughs> yeah. It'll go. You start from like four feet out. I just need to shoot a bunch. And exactly. I basically, I basically yeah. throw a fucking. Range. I throw a chest pass. So I shoot. <laughs> it's an ugly <laughs> shot. Yeah, yeah you had, you're out. You're a big guy though. Yeah, it's ugly. You're down low. I saw you put. You had a little jumper out there. I saw you putting jumpers down. Yeah, not great. But I couldn't jump. True. I couldn't do anything today. True. That sucked. But yeah, you saw. We were warming up. Them. I was hoping it would go away. I tried to do one fucking jump stop. Yep. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm done. Hit him with Jesus the old baby. Christ, I'm yeah. done. Fake. Like, what is it? What's wrong? I was like, I'm dead. Yeah, no. I, I think was... I ripped the muscles off of my bone. That was why I ripped myself in half. I'm dead. Yeah, I was why I was wise to stop. We got a big. We got the big game. Yeah, I can't. I'm. <clears throat> I had no choice. I'll, I'm gonna go to the Y on Broad Street with Lemare and start shooting and start going once a week. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're done, guys. It's time. Patreon, yeah. Patreon, you yeah, guys yeah, are absolutely. the backbone Thanks of this Thank you, Patreon. Operation. Thank you. You're allowing my girlfriend to be a florist. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>